In part 2 of this video series, we will look at using ACP to model the layup. And also using mechanical for an FEA analysis. Start by launching the ACP tool, by opening the setup cell. Create a fabric, with the material properties derived from the material designer. In this example, it is twill woven e glass. The typical thickness of a lamina layer is approximately 0.2 mil. Given the weave used is 200 GSM fiberglass. Create a new stack up using the created fabric. Add 5 layers of fabric at an angle of 0. This means that the fiber direction will be aligned with the local X and Y coordinates. Define a new rosette. Set the origin to be any point on the winglet. Keep direction 1 pointing in the global X direction, stream wise down the winglet. And direction 2 points in the global Y direction, along the span of the fin. And the Z direction points normal to the lamina surface, in the direction that the stack up takes place. Create a new object oriented set. Select all elements from the element sets. Select any point on the surface. Here, the Z axis also points in the direction of the stack up. And select the previously created rosette. Make a new modeling group, along with a new ply. Select the defined object-oriented set, and set the ply to be the previously made stack up. Create a new solid model, and define the element set as all elements. Update. Exit ACP. Update the setup cell. Bring in a static structural cell to the workbench. Here we are going to apply a load onto the fin, and determine the stress and deformation. Connect the ACP setup cell to the mechanical model cell, and import solid data. Open the model cell in static structural. Change the analysis settings to allow for large deflection. Add a fixed support onto the surface of the root cord. Add a force to the tip cord surface. Change to components and define the force to be, negative 5 newtons in the Z direction. To view how the overall fin reacts to the applied load, add in total deformation into the solution. Head over to the imported plies tab and add equivalent stress. This displays the stress contours for each lamina layer. And solve. Have a look at the total deformation, and the stress within the layers. Turn on smooth contours, and turn off the wireframe. On the back corner of the root cord, there appears to be a stress singularity. This is due to the load condition, and the sharp corner. To improve the performance of the fin, round the corner to reduce the stress. If the fin was to be subjected to the load, it has a high chance of failing at that corner due to localized stress. Thanks for watching.